Hey guys, this is Aaron here, and today I'm gonna show, I'm gonna do a round review of the um, Touch Suite 5 ROM for the Samsung Galaxy A. So right now I'm power on my phone. I show you the um, boot animation. This Galaxy A's boot animation is not actually a Galaxy S2. See, it's Galaxy A. So. Um, Basically, this ROM is almost everything working. Um, I only know um, the HD video playing, the HD video playback is not working right now. So I believe it is work on the next release soon. So let's go ahead and unlock um, this. Okay, I'm currently using the. Okay, wait, wait for it to finish it. So this ROM is based on the Galaxy Jelly Bean. So um, everything is working except um, the HG, uh, HQ video playback. So um, the lock screen is on. I just enable at the setting. So when once you lock or unlock your screen, you have the uh, unlock screen sound. So the touch sound you can actually enable at the settings sound. Oh, so what's the problem? Again, okay. Oh, okay, touch sound. So the touch sound, the bubble sound. So I, I'm not actually lucky, so I just off it. Hmm. So the first status bar, the notification bar. You can actually swipe off, expand um, only for email, and you can tap the X button here to clear the notification and the settings. And as the settings, you can see the settings is modded to touch this theme. So we have colorful icons right here Wi Fi, Bluetooth, um, theme. You can install the theme for the CM10. Let me just show you the Android version is yes, based on Galaxy 4.1.2 Jelly Bean. So next, home screen. Touch with five, touch with UX. Uh, you have <coughs> the widget, red widget, and time. Weather widget plus time, so you can reflash. It is actually a cute weather. Come on, yes. Mm, you can actually add more location. Oh, mm, edit. Ah. Uh, Never mind. So, um, so the phone uh, dialer um, is modded to touch this like. Oh come on, open it faster. Yes, it's it's beautiful for me, which is pretty cool. Uh, come and you can swipe to the call lock and contacts. You can actually search your contacts right here. And how about the contacts? Very nice team. I like it. Rotate. And the next <coughs> messaging for me is just um, the same thing as the Cyanide Mod 10. The browser, so the browser is same as the Cyanide Mod 10 performance is quite good oh, come on okay just and it mm, because it is touch free so we can change the page by the six right bottom here minimize it at some page remove and you can set um, the default screen default home and how about the app drawer yes very cool animation like it actually again you again you can use the stick right here at the bottom adding widgets excuse me I need from adding let's say adding Gmail label because this is jelly bean so it will adjust for you the icons um, the widgets uh, I don't need it so next mm, so the multitasking uh, it's actually the same thing, you know, 
swipe to end it and you can um, excuse me and you can hold it on to uh, see the admin file yes unfortunately this uh, in this ROM it doesn't have the task manager um, like uh, you know uh, the S3 the Samsung Galaxy S3 um, uh, on the stock ROM every almost every Samsung stock ROM have the task manager but this one um, they doesn't have it but they have the widgets I have no idea why um, let me show you the widget application monitor you know on your stock room you have this but once I open it doesn't have the um, app so let me just and the next is I'm gonna show you the calculator well um, for those that are using the Samsung Galaxy S2 ROM you will notice it is same as the Samsung Galaxy S2 ROM calendar signature mod um, it's actually Hmm, the next, the clock. Um, it's actually, if you use CM10, you will realize that, realize that it is the same thing. It's not much different. Um, DSP Major, you have the DSP Major downloads. Um, email, Gmail. It actually, it is the variety apps. Um, if you want, you can port it into system app. Because it doesn't come with the ROM. So, you have SBMO. Um, look very nice, pretty cool. You can choose a different color if you realize that. If you use the stop ROM, you realize that it's, a, it's the same thing as the 2.3.4. Um, next is messaging. I already show you music player. For those that using the MIUI player, you realize that it is actually modded from the uh, the MIUI player you see look very nice very much different can actually see and this is the playlist very, very nice and you have uh, the music player widgets right here and the next is OTA updater um, and have no idea why it's that. Mm. Wait, it's something like uh, see clockwork mod five, maybe. I think you can um, update the ROM right here, maybe. So, um, the people I already show you the dollar I did show you. Um, Google search, and I can tell you guys you can actually port the S voice. Um, by clicking the um, the link at the description, it will bring you to XDA Developers, the original tree, and then you can just download the file and port it to this ROM, um, such like the um, stock apps apps that is from Galaxy S3. You can port it, like um, such as the Music Hub, um, Social Hub, or that, and Super User, no problem working fine hey, excuse me come on working fine and I can use Titan and wake up um, voice search let's try the voice search uh, working a bit slow come on let's try it again hello looking for hello and it will open up the Google search right here you can try it um, come on uh, never mind forget about it um, the YouTube already downloads is third party oh yes the camera um, I think uh, yep video recording is working but it's not that smooth Yes, touch focus, you have touch focus, settings, and then the shutter button is modded to touch wrist. Wait, um, scene, or oh, it's working. 
and uh, the video recording come on okay it's all working already show you um ah come on see um launcher is start okay let me just show you how to get the percentage um the battery percentage so just open up your settings and then go to um system no nope, uh, excuse me uh, status bar battery status bar and then change it to um, from icon change it to percentage so you get a percentage beside your battery icon and I just downloaded the live for people from uh, the Galaxy S3 weather wall it depends on your weather and then change um, the live for people installing um yeah done let's go ahead and try it yes let's change it set for people live for people and this rom is come with some wallpaper from the signage mod so I just install the windy weather set um wait did I didn't do setting or something um, set at wallpaper ah yes is it it is working you see um very good very nice it's like galaxy um it's actually you can find it in a uh, samsung galaxy note very nice so this one thus we come with the samsung galaxy s3 wallpapers you see i change it change it again it's actually pretty like the, this one so I'm not gonna do the installation uh, of this ROM again. It's just simple. Um, flash ROM after that. Flash G apps for Jelly Bean. So please make sure you downloaded the correct G apps for your um, for Jelly Bean. So please make sure it is about 15.3 MB only. Um, yes. If you don't install the correct one um you are not able to download the apps from the play store you see it's working perfectly i flash the correct one um, you have slower sometimes so so that's it for the wrong reviews guys if you like this video please hit the like button comment down below if you have problems so i will see my next video this is adrian here from the technology today and I apologize to you guys my background I was I'm playing games and I'm I'm doing the review so so guys goodbye